everyone. Welcome back to another great episode of Rahana's Cuisines. Today we're gonna make something super creative and delicious. Um, we're gonna make these flour samosas. These are amazing. They have a really good coconut filling. And then if you look here, we're gonna be dressing these up with either sprinkles or whatever um, ideas you have. So if you wanna learn how to do this, let's go ahead and review all the ingredients. Some flour here. To that, we're gonna be adding about two tables or let two tablespoons of olive oil. You don't want too much in this. We're also going to be adding a little bit of salt to taste, just a little bit, okay? And then what we're going to do is, I have one cup of water here, and this can just be normal water, it doesn't have to be cold or anything, but just normal water. I've got one cup, I'm gonna start binding the dough. I'm gonna let you know how much, uh, water I needed to bind it. Now keep in mind that the measurement that I give you will not be exactly the same measurement that you will need because the flour that you might be using is completely different from the one that I'm using. So let's go ahead and bind the dough. So again we have some left over you can see here. Um, so I would start off with three-fourths cup and then if you need to add a little bit more in, start by adding very slowly, very slowly until you have a nice semi-stiff dough. Um, this dough cannot be very soft, otherwise you're not gonna achieve the crispiness of this. So now we're just gonna let this rest for about 20, 25 minutes. When we come, to, come back, I'm gonna show you how uh, we're gonna make these beautiful, beautiful um, samosas. So here I have two tablespoons of coconut oil. I have here a fourth of a cup of raisins. I have here a half a cup of chopped cashews, half a cup of chopped almonds, one fourth cup of pistachios chopped, one fourth teaspoon cardamom powder, four spoons of poppy seeds. We're gonna do a pinch of salt, and then we're going to also have here a tablespoon of fennel seeds. I have 10 to 15 strands of saffron, two cups of desiccated coconut, and then we're going to be adding a little bit of condensed milk in it just just until it comes together. So let's get this mixture going and then I'll show you the next step. So I completely forgot to mention that we're gonna need half a cup of semolina. And what I'm gonna do with the semolina is I'm just gonna put it in our pot and I'm going to dry roast this until the color changes a little bit, but just make sure that it doesn't get burnt. How you have to dry roast this. I finished dry roasting it. You see the color went from like really pale yellow to yellow. And um, that's exactly how we want it. Now we're gonna be adding in the coconut mixture that we made and followed by our um, condensed milk. So you can see that I have been mixing little bit, little bit in, and I added about seven ounces, which is half a can of a 14 ounce of um, the sweetened condensed milk. So you see how the mixture is, is um, like this, which is exactly how you want it. Now, I did give it a taste test and I felt like it really needed a little bit of salt. So I'm gonna add a little bit of salt Mix it up, let this mixture completely cool down before we start stuffing. Now what you wanna do is you just wanna make small balls, just like that, just like tiny ones, and keep them on the side so that when we start filling these, you know, there's, you're gonna have a, um, 
the mixture is going to be nice and it's not going to fall out so we're just going to go ahead and just make um, the balls from this and if you have enough uh, more mixture left then don't worry just keep the mixture for something else because I use this mixture for just about anything I love stuffing dates with these um, I like doing um, I have a naan recipe which is my mom's uh, sweet Hawaiian bread recipe I like to stuff that uh, those with this so um, if you have enough more filling left either freeze it or refrigerate it it'll be a it will be good in the refrigerator for at least a month so I'm just gonna go ahead finish these and then when we come back I'm gonna show you how we're gonna so use now I see here that I have my uh, dough I've, I've uh, rolled it out and it doesn't have to be too thick and no, not too thin you just really to make this successful just have to make sure that your dough is quite stiff um, and then you could either cut it but I like using um, a cutter because that way you have exactly a square and um, so you don't have to kind of fidget around with that so you just want to you know make your cuts just like this Now, what you want to do, I'm just going to add a little bit of flour down here. It shouldn't stick, but all right. All right, so there we go. Now, you want the top part to have a little dough on it, a little flour on it, just in case you don't want it to stick. <clears throat> I have some going over here. You can see how beautiful these have started turning out. Um, and you want to fry these on low heat, low to just a little bit of above medium, not medium at all, just a little bit lower so that they become really nice and crunchy. So back here now, what you want to do is now we have an even square. I'm going to take two corners and bring them in. Take two corners and bring it in. Now, when you're doing this, don't press it. On there this is really really important otherwise it's not gonna work so don't press it now we're just gonna take it very lightly and tip it over just like that now I'm gonna take my coconut mixture that we made and I'm gonna kind of pat it down just a little bit so it's not a ball shape it's just a little bottom like a now you're gonna take two of your points bring it up and make sure that it is um, you've pinched it nicely so it's nice and sealed you bring the other two up and again you do the same thing okay now this is super important you want to take either a knife let's just get these out first and then we'll head back over there I'm just gonna turn it again once more just because I really want these to be really nice and crispy okay so we're gonna come back here I'm gonna move everything out of the way because this is super important now you see here some of the dough has gone in so you just want to take a knife or whatever you have and bring it out and then pinch it. This way the filling is going to be locked inside. Some of them you won't have to, but you want to make sure that they're really, really sealed well. Now see this one, you've got an overlap. Bring that up again. Pinch it closed. Okay, that's really, really important because you're going to have all the mix. Your, your whole mix is going to be in the oil otherwise. Again, bring it up and now close it. Now. What we're going to do is now the reason why I floured it, remember when we started flouring it? So then these, you see how these petals are? You see these now can now open up like so. You have to be very, very gentle with these because and make this on a day when you know that you're not going to be rushing for time. Okay, now we have a flower. So basically what we're going to do is now we're going to play around with just the petal and then I'm just going to pinch this so it looks nice. Do like that. Again, you can either leave it just like that or you could pinch the corners. It's, it's, it's completely up to you. Right? Or without pinching it, you could just leave it like that. And bring this one a little bit up. Pinch. And now, look at how beautiful you have. It's a flower. Yay! All right, let's get back here. You can see here that I've been fly frying these on really, really low because I want them crispy. Okay, so these are 
completely done. So I'm going to take these out in a paper towel, finish frying the rest of them. When we come back, I'm super excited to show you how we're going to uh, make these look super amazing by um, adding some sprinkles on it. So we're all done with these and they look amazing. I mean, um, they just look too good to eat. Um, what I have not mentioned is that when you're doing the sprinkles, you need something to something sticky. So the sprinkles or anything that you're putting in the middle sticks on. So I've used honey here and uh, I've just decorated uh, by putting honey on top and then just doing the decorations. So now I'm really, really dying to get into these and um want you to hear this see how crispy they are and then inside we have the coconut filling mm. these are crispy they have that coconut filling in there, which is my favorite. And I just, I can't tell you anything else, but they are amazing. I know they take a while to make, but the end product is just so rewarding. So thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Rehana's Cuisines. Hope you can join me here next time with another great video. Remember, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Hit that button, the bell over there so you get an notification every time I upload a video. Um, please don't forget to like, share, tag um, on all social medias. And um, for those that have already subscribed, I can't thank you enough. I love you guys. And for those, uh, please subscribe. Who haven't subscribed, please subscribe and help me reach 100,000 subscribers. Thank you so much.